Hey guys, sorry about that, I was starting the stream and changing my headset at the same time, never a good idea. So here we are, yet again, for Diablo 3, the darkening of Tristram. Uh, I've created yet another monk, this is my third attempt in two days. Uh, don't even ask me about yearly attempts. I've done it last year, apparently it didn't work. Now we started it yesterday, uh, me and my wife uh, went into campaign mode and realised then that it's not campaign mode, you have to be in it, it's adventure mode. So then deleted those characters, started new characters, and went through the whole entire thing to get nothing, and then I remembered you've got to do it single player. So, here I am. New character. My dearest Hadric, do not feel despair, my love. You did everything you could. For many years, fault, villagers wife. were too afraid anyway, to yeah, settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. I've got much pain less than a month forever. to get stuck in. Remember the wonderful times we had together. So, always off on another crazy quest. Here we are, level one. What would I do without him? My infernal pauldrons. And, oh, that's just those crappy things. I'll slap some wings on just for the look. Let's get a pet out here. What should we have? I'm not taking him there. Haunting Hannah, Gruck, the Mimic. Ah, the Mimic. Unihorn. The Mimic. Just because I'm feeling... Kind of chompy boxy like, I suppose. Anyway, uh, throw on a Lore Master pennant and... Sexy, sexy portrait frame. That's something else I need to get for the Dark and Tristram event. Is the portrait frames. I might have gotten one already last year. I can remember what they look like. Nope, I don't think I did. So I've got to get the cultist pages and kill all the names. You believe enemies. the stranger was an angel, but he kill is all only the enemies a man. In the I always knew they were just stories. Old cathedral. Uncle Decker died for those so, stories. Let's just head to the old ruins and get stuck in. As you can see, level 1 and pretty fish at the moment. A few kills, I'll quickly change that. I'm getting stuck on a box. I'm getting stuck on a broken cart. Oh, that's, that's a bad, a bad, bad grow every day. What has happened to Tristram and its king? I can, I can see I it all going wrong in like the first level. Man, but it seems I was deceived. There we go. We all were. He sends our meager you know army is? against Westmark I've ran into this and I've not applied my Paragon points. So I'll just smash these guys and then I'll quickly throw them on. And that should make that a lot quicker. So first I'm just going to fill everything to the top. I cannot afford that. He's going to moan at me. A couple of times that I can't afford that. But it's okay because I can afford everything that he has. I just said it's so wrong. Here we go. Cold reduction. Critical hit chance. Critical hit damage. And the last one apparently. I didn't put gold find on. Not that it's really going to matter because this is literally a throwaway character. So, movement speed right to the top. Maximum spirit, right to the top. Vitality, I'm going to take to 100. Because it's always good to have a little bit extra life. And the rest, 138 onto dexterity. And from now on, any paragon points just get smashed straight onto dexterity. There we go. So much quicker. Should be over here. Oh, hello, guys. Oh, they'll die. They'll die. Nice. That's it. Straight through. You can see the corpses lying about here. Uh, you've got to find a black mushroom down in the catacombs. And then you bring it up and you throw it into Adria's cauldron. And it gives you something I'm pretty sure is to give to Ogden. He then drops something, which I think is a bill. 
and you take it to Farnham here. I've got this in a completely wrong order. Tell you what, once I find the stuff, I'll do a little video on it and we can talk about it then. But that leads to another unlock that gets you... I can't remember if that's what gets you Wurt's leg or if that's what gets you the Royal Calf Pet. Either way, we'll do videos on them. To begin with, I went up here. This is the wee guy, the slain townsman in the original Diablo. He spoke to you, he gave you a little speech about the Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by some demon he called the Butcher. Avengers, slay this Butcher. So souls may finally rest. And you click on it again, and your guy very stoically says, Your death will be avenged. And I used to do that every single time I went into the catacombs. But for now, he's going to give me a short sword. Which is very welcome, I must say. So, anything else to slap on? Nope, let's get stuck in. We've just got to try and get through it as fast as we can, killing any men along the way. I'll stop to the other way to throw some equipment just to try and keep it Leveling up at the same time is quite important because if I was to go down to see Diablo right now, he would probably see my face. I'm just going to really test that out actually. I'm going to have to actually get somebody to go right down to the bottom and then I can teleport on top of them. And we'll see if Diablo does smash. That's the first character, I'll teleport on top of them with the first character and see if Diablo does smash my face. Level 4 already. You can just go flying up. If you keep a kill chain going, I will get a good feeling thing. Depending on how high the kill chain is, I will get more experience. And that applies retroactively to all kills within the chain. So that gives me a 1.25 experience bonus. And that's for all previous kills before it. But obviously it's a good idea to train the character because when you get a train for all the way through a level in the area you can get a fuck ton of experience and you can smite all the time you can train it. I know I said I was going to run straight through but I need to level. It's very important at this stage. That's 46 kills, a 2.25. It's also an achievement for using health wells, a thousand of them. I've not actually done that yet, but it is something that I do want to get. Same as opening the chest. There's a special loot that you get in there. I've already gotten all of it already. As it appears, I will show you as I spot it. What's that mean? There we go, level 6. I'm pretty much stuck with basic attacks at the moment. Got my all, this will double my damage. And if I keep producing them and keep collecting them, I can keep that double damage going for quite a while. Put the bottom corner there and let me help her. You see that it starts to get darker progressively when I kind of clockwise move him. The darker it gets, the less time it is left. Uh, it's called a Nephilim Glory, by the way. I should have said that. Rather than just this. Oh, braces. Here we go. Level 2. Sorry, my phone is falling on top of my head. I've got it charging behind me on the couch here and it keeps falling down on top of my head. That's right, can get me. Shadow gun. Not important. I must wait to use that ability. These guys do think they've got some slightly better look. It is not ready yet. Godly plate of the wheel. That is one of the special looks that drops. Go back to one of the original and the first came out. 
all those many many years ago. I first played it on the original PlayStation. And I couldn't get Diablo 2 on the PlayStation, it was gutting, but it did help me make the move over to PC gaming. Something that I've not really looked back at, but at the moment, my PC does have to find it. It's my file system, and everything is stacked on top of it. So I've been pretty much exclusively console gaming for close to the past 9 to 10 months. Trying to get There's a lot to do. Comfy sitting on the couch. Not enough speed. I don't know if I want to go back to dare I say it, ever playing PC games. Of course I fucking do. <laughs> These guys are just annoying me now. They all come over here for a second. I'll just show you this. Oh boy, that was good. I love when the plug bombs are as you would have to get further and further rather than what's more and more about it means. They're able to put together a much stronger build. Right, now it's looking like the Y button the plug here, so I can now do the bottom straight. Which is really good for getting through really fucking quickly, but it's only got a limited number of charges. What you ask is impossible. There's a little protection thing. I try to press B there to... No, no, I've got a safe one straight on B. I don't have enough speed. Look, it's not easy to play that ability. I need spirit. Uh, I don't have enough spirit. I don't have enough spirit. I don't have enough spirit. And we are still only on level 2 at the moment. My mind is stronger. And this is the Dark Passage. Feel the snigger from my wife. You can see the enemies change as you go along. It is not ready yet. Yeah, at the, the first four levels are starting to get Other enemies that will cause Not enough speed. maybe cause some problems. There's some little events in here as well. That ability is not yet recharged. The cyclone stage does make Phantom and the motherfucker a lot spirit. fucking easier. Guitar has raised me to new heights. I've got that. Okay, so I think the entire back part is is a just a dead end. There's a little cave that you can get extra loot in, and again, there's a little nod to one of the little side quests that you could find within Diablo originally. It cannot be done. But it wouldn't be a proper dark enough person to create a side quest and do it. Here Not we are, finishing off the last few little um, camps. And we'll head back outside. Those little health potions. I uh, don't really use them all that often. Not that I need to. Uh, I've leveled up this character, that, well, my general character. I'm not using the Paragon points. Once you get to level 70, you start then gaining Paragon experience. And every time you get a Paragon experience point, Oh, I don't bitch. have enough spirit. It is not ready yet. This guy scared the shit out of me when I first played it a couple of years ago. I opened the door and he had fresh meat. The room is a lot smaller than me. He was inside of it. And there's hundreds and hundreds of dragons in the door everywhere. And I shot myself with a few of the insects coming away. If I can't take on the picture that I've got over, I wouldn't find it in the area. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I'm level 11. Double check the equip. The the equip. The way. I'm losing the ability. Thought the equipment. There we go. God, the plate of the wheel. Some nice new bruises. Butcher's cleaver in there. No rings. No boots on. No pants yet. Not really a problem. For a man shirt, I suppose. Do -do. And here we go again through this door and hopefully find the passage down to level 3 along here. Yep, there it is. Awesome sauce. And I'm almost level 4. That was not an intended sound effect because I had it in the background. My life really is okay. There's nothing special happening after. Also, if you can smash a certain number of items within a certain period of time, it gives you a little focus for a certain period of time. So, the more items you can smash, the bigger the I need spirit. Now you need spirit, I know. If I look at my skills, I'm going to not able to generate spirit a lot faster, so let's go. Change onto this. Yeah, last one to look at. Increase the damage. Change that to Breath of Heaven. Dashing Strike can stay. Level 14 for the next skill, level 19 for the last one, and these are little passive skills. So, increase movement speed by 10, damage deal reduces the enemy damage by 20% for 4 seconds, and increase movement speed by 10%. Now, rather than just hitting one enemy, I'll be hitting all enemies in front of me and then out. I really should have picked a lot sooner. To be fair. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go out there. Level 13. Let's see if we can turn it. Oh, we can turn it. Out the way. I don't have enough spirit. I don't know if I'm going to step all the way down to that level. I'll get some time just to pump it through into a little bit. And get some extra nettle and glory, there we go. Level 4, awesome sauce. We are making progress. There's no more. Black Flash I must burn. wait to use that ability. I honestly have no idea if I killed him before. I was very cool, it would be extremely cool to keep it at 25%. Level that ability is not yet recharged. I'll level up that gold symbol should be made to come there. Probably not so much as it shows. I'm not coming up for you in time. I'm trying to get more experience in the time of it. I'm going to tell him I'm Yeah, you can go faster. No feeling to get, no powerful you get, and yeah, you can go faster. No feeling you can get. As you can get into the weapon, and you have the making spell of the way. Thank you, Kevin. That ability is I not yet recharged. Oops, that needs to go. Oh, I've got a fighting spell. I'll have to show you that in a moment. If I can find a big group of enemies. That went well. <laughs> Absolutely fuck all. Through here, you guys, come to me. No spirit. Your flaws are revealed. 
from the spirit bar and the final lag to the end of Well scattered. Do 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 Okay, Jesus will pick them up. So, pull them on, not from very great distance and not very many of them. Oh, but we have two main ones. It's not slow if you were using that in any way. It's not slow here if you guys not fuck around. You know, shit, things are getting hot, things need to get the fuck out of dodge. You gotta chase them down and you land them. Lots of balls and balls are there. And block the path and start doing this block of enemies. He's going to be a bit of a battle. He got the Harlequin's Crest, which is against a quest item that you got from Ogden. He gave you some story about how a wizard left it behind and he's in one day. And he wants you to have it as a reward for doing something really, really fucking dangerous. You know, as they do. Like, yeah, go kill this dragon. Thank you. Here's my gold. Such a voice of the adventuring monk. You don't do it for money. And Garbad the Weep. Always lost this for a while. Find them cowering in the corner. They tell you all about how he wants to be strong. And you need no help, Garbad. No help, Garbad. Garbad, a friend. Garbad, I'll help I must wait for you. you not enough spirit. Weapon. You can just get him something to come back later, I can't remember, it's not a thing. And eventually you speak to him a couple of times and finally go back and he says the weapon is ready, but it's too good for you, he's not going to use it, get that bad strong and he will kill you. And that's when you come to the weapon of the And you take the weapon off him and it turns out to be utter trash. But it was still fun, it was still fun. Here we are, level 5. Ooh, death surrounds me. Get all the gear. Ninja would be an awesome class in this game. Just go invisible. Sneaky beefy past everything. I'm going to need to improve my equipment, I think. And by improve my equipment, I mean get better equipment. So these fuckers better start dropping good loot. I've got one more attack to unlock. Yep, I'll do. I'm going to try to press it there. <laughs> Let's have it one more round and see if you can find something. Book of Blood, ah yes. So, got to go through here and... Thanks so. Pick up a Lock blood orb. beyond the gateway of the the pedestal. Pick up another blood orb. Pick up another blood orb. Pick up blood orb. Pick up another 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 blood orb. The, the I need like really spirit. Spirit. Okay, so and these guys all buff each other. Yeah. And we've got a knock back as well, which can be really tough and frustrating. No theory. I must wait to use that ability. And we see other hair stars at the bottom of the screen there in the last room. So that's all dead apart from this art thing. Put this on and let's open their door. Yep. And these guys also have a knockback. 
Because the fuck at the camp. And we'll be up there. We'll have to watch out for that. And now I put the blood orb on the pedestal. Alakazam. There is Arcane's Valor. And a couple of trash weapons. I keep hearing my fucking little mimic giggling from the I'll have to change him out. Something that doesn't follow me around and giggling. If I had a puzzle ring, I'd totally be wearing that. Do I have a dive ball yet? Do, 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 do. No, I do not. But Arcane's Valor is actually an improvement, but then I've got another god duplicate of the whale. And let's compare them 23 strength, 4 vitality, 17 dexterity. So, dexterity is the monk's main attribute, so I will be going with that. Add that. Pour in a fire because you know fire is always fun. That's on cooldown, so I can't change that. Flashing strike, get increased movement speed. Yes, please. Cyclone strike, no runes unlocked yet. Level 19 for the last one, which I'll be switching up for something else anyway. Come on. There we go. Increase maximum spirit by 50 and increase spirit regeneration by 4 per second. That'll do nicely, thank you very much. So let's go find the exit to level 6, I believe. What level are Level 5. There's nothing here. This way. One of the great things about this game is that every time you that game, building you is not yet game. recharged. All the maps reset. Well, not all of them anymore. Most of them reset to go into a new layout, so it's not really the same game that you play every time. It does add for increased experience. It, it is things. not ready yet. Some of the areas are static and broken. Just ignore these. Oh, there's a shrine here, I'm not going to ignore that. Thank you. Increase attack speed, that'll come in handy in just a moment. Oh, this guy's getting. Hey, get back here! Oh, really? Not enough spirit! Oh, chasing around the place. Stay still. I must wait to use that ability. Just die already. Maybe not the one. Give it up and let me kill you. There we go. Another godly plate of the whale. If I had an armor actor as one of these, I'd probably have them on display. Which is not something you actually do in this game, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Imperium band, that's a ring. Oh, all equipped, yes it has. 7 life after each kill, 4 dexterity reduces cooldown and chance to deal damage on hit. Okay, cool. So we are getting closer, we are just under halfway through. I don't know why he wasn't there. Again, there's that giggle from that stupid little man. is not yet recharged. I should really stop skipping enemies for a couple of minutes and get the experience. Path is up here. Yes. Do, 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 do. Thought I had a fucking treasure goblin now. Getting 
own 8 bit vault. I never even had the vault back then. But it would look cool as hell like this. Oh my guys, I'm gonna stand there and throw at nothing. Great one, monk, great one. Pop in and see how we're in just for a second. Fish shaped flesh mode. Do I have anything that I can equip to improve? Not really. No. Okay. I don't have fire enough well. spirit. You can hold it down again. This guy isn't even a boss, he's just a special main character that is a lot more tougher than the usual enemy. You can imagine how much fun it's going to be for the other. And it's almost gone. There we go. There's a bit of the apocalypse and Archangel Staff of the Apocalypse. So it's a staff magic staff. Bow. Don't know how this is gonna work with a monk, but I don't know. We'll give it a bash. That belt shape, so here we go again. Slow attacking, it's not exactly a monk weapon, is that? Do I have a new passive skill unlocked? No, I do not. I'm wondering what I'm doing. I'm getting way ahead of myself here. There's a twenty for that. Okay, I'm doing more damage. All of that is what's important. Fucking little giggling, annoying bastard. I'm gonna put a quiet pet on. Come on, bones. I get with it. Yes, I do. Favor me. Excellent. Gods favor me. I don't normally favor me. I think the RNG is fucking spies me. And if we keep going up this way. So no, this way here. Mythical book. Beyond the hall of heroes ah, the lies the bones. chamber of bones. There's another one of those little kind of dark. Eternal things. death awaits any who would seek to steal the treasures secured within this room. Go oh, and kill everything and hopefully get a nice so little bit of the Lord of Terror. Increase their damage. And so it is written. So that will double my damage for a step through the time. Uh, character details, Nephilim Glory, your attacks do more damage and at least terrible blast of energy on your enemies. Picking up additional power, glows will extend the duration. 13 seconds left. I think each globe gives 20 seconds. Have an increased chance of dropping I must wait to use the spawn while killing enemies. You keep the kill chains up. You can try and keep your nothing glory running in death. I'm on the PC version. I am playing this next box one. On the PC version, it stacks three times and it has a completely different. Effect. I think I've played it for a while, I think. In fact, actually, yeah, we've got a year since I last played it. Because I remember doing the Dark and Oppression event on the PC, and also doing the Diablo event on World of Warcraft. That ability is not yet recharged. I've guys unlocked the last ability now. Not ready yet. 
skills. More runes. You get one unlocked on cooldown, I can't change it. I'll learn eventually, I'll learn eventually. So I want to put... I can't put it on yet, okay. Boom, bam, nah, nearly, nearly. That's fine, I'll just leave that as it is for now. And... Okay, yes. The gods favor me. Nice. Level 20, so that's a new passive skill unlock. Fucking difficult. So, what did you could do? You gain 4 pellets per second with a man frozen effect. It also reduces the magic reading most. Dealing damage to enemies or something like increases your... Yep. That should make me attack a lot faster. Just does stack. Obviously, the more enemies around you, the faster you're attacking. You can see attack on much faster now already. That will come in massively handy when it comes to fighting Diablo. Now, do, do, do. Yep. I think I've cleared the Chamber of Bone. So we continue on finding the doors down to the next level, which will be level 7. Oh, fucking hell, I thought it was a bit further than that. Taking this guy down a lot faster than the last one. And he's dead. Ooh, legendary. And attack speed bonus as well. So, I've got a legendary hammer. Ah, yes. I'm gonna have to go to dual wielding again, aren't I? Odin Sun. You can guess what this is a big, sparkly, golden hammer. Sword and Shield Monk. I suppose you could say I'm a cleric. Ah, oh, cleric of Evergod. I can't remember how to pronounce his god's name. As you can see, attack speed is much faster. Ah, oh, god damn it, I'm totally lost. I need to ask some kind of dude for directions. Let's go back up this way. Let me break some shit. Sorry guys, I'll, I'll pay for it. Okay. And then this way. There we go. Back and track. So the faster your attack speed, the more DPS you So, let's get back on track. And... Get the gank on. But once you get down to, I think it's levels 11, 12, and 13 are usually quite short. And it enables you to get through a hell of a lot faster than you were expecting. That is essentially 15 levels. And then close to the Chamber of Bone, the Hidden Passage, and of course the last level itself with Diablo on it. About 18 levels. There's a special one here as well. So I'm not going to go actively seeking it. I'm just going to try and find the passage down. Because I am aware that this is... I hoped it would, although we did do it last night, and do it in 45 minutes. That ability is not yet fully In less than an amazing time. So it's a bit of 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 a So hopefully there's not many names that I haven't played. Because they don't always spawn, you have to go for a few times to get them all. Ah, sweeping wind! There's the attack that I really like. So, if 
Describe it there. You can act. Do have a goal for a month. I'll probably do some time, which does allow you to keep sweeping when running perpetually, and have all your monks and ma mantras going with double mystic allies. And you can literally just run through levels, and they will kill everything for you. Absolutely amazing. I might do a video on the next uh, I might do a video on the rest of the month on the season one. I know I'm late to start the season So I don't know if I'm going to or not. It's season 12 now. But I might do it if there's enough interest for it. If there is, let me know. Send me a message. Uh, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or... I think I've got another platform somewhere. I can't remember them all. <laughs> anyway, just Google Mindscout Gaming, I appear. So if you give me a follow, I'll do follow. It is not ready yet. Season one. Let me know, and if enough is interested, I will do a couple of videos on it and see how long it goes for. But I'm going to, before heading out to level 9, I'm going to pause this video because that's at 49 min 42 minutes, and I want to start broadcasting again in just a second, pretty much straight away, just to make it a bit easier when it comes to uploading these. So, hang on to your hats, guys, I shall be back in just a moment.